everyone. How's it going? Now, how's it going? That should be better volume. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Vote on that poll. Let's talk about it. Kay, how's it going? Brittany, Danielle, Lori, Marie. Let's turn that down a little bit. Uh, we got Laura, Donna, Nicole, Alex, Pamela, Andrew, and fam. Sam and Sean, how's it going? We got Helen here. Nicole. Alex, Raven, Megs, Willow. <laughs> I try to do I try to do as many as I can. Des, Angela, Gavin is love and life. Erica, how's it going? Erica with those spicy comments the other day. All right. I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Hi, Hannah. How's it going, Hannah? Danielle, hello, hello. Static says hi. Um, oh, I have a letter. Give me one second. Hearts in the chat. Give me one second. I have a letter in the mail. We have one letter today. And it's from Brit. Is Brit here? I don't know. All right, let's get that out. We got Brit. Brit, Brit, Brit. Emily Evans, how's it going? Uh, we have a picture that says, Love, Brittany, and Rosie. <clears throat> you didn't get your letter yet, Brittany? Seriously? That's so strange. You don't live that far away. Uh, it says Pat and Carleen and Moose. I uh, hope you're all having, hope you're all having a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. God bless and all the best in 2022. Much love, Brittany and Rosie. Brit Pawn on YouTube. What a cute little card that is. I gotta do something like that with Moose. Like put on a put on a suit or something. Look at that. Thank you so much. Uh, USPS stole your car, stole the card. What's going on here? Some of them could potentially be coming late. The latest ones went out Christmas Eve or yeah, Christmas Eve. So anyway, Pat, how long have you been live? I've been live. I don't know. Five minutes or so. Seven minutes. I have no idea. Uh, today we're going to continue playing happy home paradise. And then we're also going to take our little hour hour and a half break and then go visit houses so if you want to work on a house before that break that's actually a good idea yeah while i build you guys can build and then maybe i can go see your house i don't know <clears throat> chuck you got my hat I, I did see that looking good in that hat laura with the 20 hat uh happy i just i always say happy hope moose is continuing to get better yes he's a little little sleepy boy and uh, he's he's good. He's chilling. Anyway, all right. So also, um, what did I want to say? Yeah, I'll be I'll be uh, starting videos on Vegas very soon. My newest island for the year. And uh, I have an interesting development with that island that you guys are. I think you guys are going to be shocked by. It's for a, a a reason. I know I'm speaking like so general about it. But it's for a reason, and you guys are going to be shocked by my decision. Anyway. So, yeah. I'm chilling with Static. Uh, before we start, like always, our streams are sponsored by Gamer Subs. Um, it is an energy supplement that you put in water. I'm drinking caffeine-free, but I combine two. Uh, so, of course, they are keto-friendly, sugar-free. Yummy, yummy. Amanda says, yay, stream. Everyone click the like button. Let's do it. Okay, so chat needs to help me because I combine two different flavors. The first flavor is Dragon Fruit Punch, and the second flavor is Misfits Melon. 
So what sounds cooler? Dragon Melon or Fruit Punch Misfits? I don't know. No. All right. Dragon Melon, I guess. Dragon Misfits? Fruit Punch Misfits? I don't know. One of those combinations. I've never had this combination before, but it looks pretty. <laughs> Dragon Melon. I guess so. I guess so. Anyway. Uh, I didn't... I didn't go inside yet, but I did look at all the villagers that we have. We have Tipper, Static, Paranoid Chicken, Pissed Off Bird. It's a, it's a good crowd today. It's a good crowd. Misfit Dragon. I kind of like that. We got Louie. Uh, good looking pig. That ain't truffles. Man, this is good. Good group. They all sound bad. Yeah. I didn't go in the restaurant or cafe yet, but I was told to go see Lottie. I think we are going to build the hospital today. I don't know. All right. Dragon Melon. Dragon Fruit Punch and Misfits Melon taste like strawberry kiwi for some reason. Does anyone here like strawberry kiwi? <laughs> yep. Wait, what is that? What's that ATM? Was that ATM always there? Can I show you something neat? Oh, okay. You're going to go over it. <laughs> Do you notice anything new over there? Uh, yes, the ATM. It's an ABD. Of course, that stands for automatic bell dispenser, but it can also dispense our local currency, Pokey. Guess it's actually an A, B, and P, D. That's a bit of a mouthful when you just need some pocket change. All right. The relative that sent over the Amiibo scanner also sent this. It lets you deposit Pokey or withdraw Pokey and also exchange into bells. The exchange rate changes every day and there's a limit on how much you can exchange each day. Okay. I think I heard about this. So you can exchange bells for pokey, pokey for bell, or no, can you do pokey for bells? I don't know. But the rate, the exchange rates are different. That's kind of interesting. You worked hard for those pokey and I imagine you want to exchange them. Oh, you can exchange them for bells. Okay, cool. Wow. That's, that's kind of neat. So, all right, let's check it out. What's the exchange rate? 100 pokey equals 285 bells. That's worth. Uh, bells to pokey. Oh, that's great. So I pay 85,000 bells and I get 30,000 pokey. That's great. I'm going to do this all day because then I could get all of the 2.0 items for... Is it cheaper? I don't know. I think this is cheaper. That's kind of dope. Who are you? Okay. So the people... The people... Oh, there's a limit. Okay. So the people that have this ATM, how often do you use it? How often do you exchange? Or is this like something you don't even use? Because you do earn a... You do earn a fair amount. Do you use this a lot? It's way more expensive? Uh, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know. Literally every day, never. Never, never. Wait, that isn't good? I don't know what's going on then. I thought that was pretty good. I don't know. Well, for me, Pokey is hard to, harder to get than coins or bells. So I guess, yeah. I've never seen a chat so divided before. Some people use it all the time. Some people never. You lost money from that. Well, doesn't it depend on what I use the pokey for? Because I don't know. Wow. Use it occasionally. Interesting. Uh, we do have a poll going right now. Uh, the better Animal Crossing species, deer or cubs? 
Now I always, this is how I always go over it. Who are the best deer villagers and then who are the best cub villagers and then go down from there. I think I have my answer, but um, yeah. Oh wait, can't we build? Oh no, we can't build the hospital yet? Anyway, uh, all right, let's go. Fauna and Eric versus Maple and Stitches. All right, let's do it now then. Let's do it now. So obviously Eric is the king of the deer species, but then you have Fauna. You also have Diana. You also have, you can count the Sanrio in there. I don't, what's her name? Who's the Sanrio deer? I have no idea. Uh, you also have Bam, Bo. There isn't a bad deer, but four cubs, there's Barreled. Oh, okay. Oh, oops. Shino. Chelsea, there we go. Fuchsia. Oh, Shino's in there now. Okay, you got Zell, you got Lopez. I mean, the deer, the deer are solid, but the deer in general, besides the top ones that we said, they're pretty mid, right? There's, they're like, ah, eh, he's okay, or she's okay. Uh, a ranch, <laughs> adventurer. Aren't the shapes of numbers cool? What? Cool cabin. And then you go over to the Cubs and you have Stitches, who's my personal favorite Cub. Uh, you have Maple, Blue Bear. Then you got like Marty and things like that. Murphy, Judy. That's a really, that's actually closer than I thought. I, Pico, Olive. Like, look at Maple right here. I mean, Maple's Maple's trying to make her case. This is the roast, by the way. I just want to see who's in here. Oh, God, Amelia's in here. Uh, greenery. Outside. June? That's right. Uh, Christine with the 350. Hey, Pat, crocheting a beanie and your stream. Good time. Yes. A lot of people make things during my stream. That's great. What does Drift want? Well water, okay. Deirdre. Uh, but he, okay, here's here's where it may get different. Because the, the Cubs, Barreled sucks. Vlad sucks. Chester is... Eh, some days I like him, some days I hate him. But out of the deer, I don't think any of them... Well, I don't like Chelsea. I think Chelsea's bad. I think Chelsea's a bad deer. Uh, I want to invite friends to my place to play tabletop games. That could be a fun one. Did I? Oh, I already did yours. So here's... Who's that? Zell? This is so tough. So it seems like the majority, well, by a little bit, 56% deer, 44% cubs. Uh, I think overall, if we're going to go overall, I think my vote is for cubs. Because out of the deer, I can only choose like three that are like superstars. But on the cub side, there's a lot. There's a lot of good ones. And there's more cubs than deer, right? So. <clears throat> I want to invite friends. Okay, I think I'm going to do tank. Listen, 
out of the deer and the cubs, Eric is by far the best. Eric is one of the, honestly, I know I'm an Eric simp, but like Eric is a great design. He's pretty basic, but he's a good design. But like Zell, Lopez, they're just so mid. Like they don't, they're not, they're not anything crazy, but like look at Judy and Stitches, Blue Bear. They're so unique. Marty's cool. All right, I'm going to do tank. Here's my thing. I want to invite friends to my place to play tabletop games. I'm going to make this dude like a nerd, like a nerd out layer. All right. Him and his buddies, they never see the sunlight. They play D&D. &D. That's what I want. Diana, okay, Diana, Eric, Fauna, and Bo, I think are like the superstars in there. But besides that, not a ton. <laughs> Everyone's like freaking out. Chino, yeah. Oh, it's a lot close. You know what? I would have to see the entire list. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. I'll have to see the entire list. All right, here we go. All right, so let's see what these clowns want. Tabletop games. They want a bingo wheel. All right, well, let's... Sounds like a party. The board game and a dice. Okay. I'm thinking like D&D, &D, snacks everywhere, things like that. All right, let's go. I'm going to go all out. Man, come over. We got the bingo wheel going. Seriously? You brought the bingo wheel out? Ugh, well, I didn't think it was going to be a crazy night, but the bingo wheel's out. Yeah. Never bring the bingo wheel out. I mean, bingo's dope, though. <laughs> you ever been to, like, a like playing bingo at a casino? It's pretty cool. I've only been, like, a couple times, though. But Old Pat? I'll, I'm going to be chilling playing bingo. All right. One level home. How are we doing though today, guys? It's so funny because when I start streaming, people are like, well, I was going to be productive. Or, well, I guess I'm not doing anything today. And it's so funny because doing streams for me, that's me having a productive day. So that's always so funny when I see that. Rebecca is finally catching alive. It's been weeks. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing so good. Uh, I'm doing another versus. I'm doing another versus. Natty, how's it going? I'm trying to do another versus. Oh, okay. Watching me from the Chick-fil-A line. Chick-fil-A is okay. I, I don't I don't really go there a lot. I the workers kind of freak me out. Is anyone here ever worked at Chick-fil-A? Do they like when you get the job, do they take you in the office and unscrew your brain and just put a battery in? <laughs> They're all just weird. They're weird there. I like the chicken, but you're weird. You're weird. Uh, okay, let's design this thing. That was not a good versus? Teddy with the two lurking while I'm working. Hope you're well. I am doing great. Why is this poll so... First of all... Wait, let's think, let's think here. See, I like the gorillas. I like, I like, well, let's, let's tone it down. I like more gorillas than the average person. Koalas though, you got, who's, I don't even know the, <laughs> dopey, like crybaby. I don't even know their names. Uh, the green one. 
that one's okay. Uh, Melba is probably the best. Ozzy. Yeah, Ozzy. <laughs> Lyman. There we go. Uh, Willow says, one more month until a new badge. We have uh, drive-in bingo where I live. Listen to it in the parking lot and the radio. And honk your horn when you get bingo. That's so fun. <laughs> I love that. Ozzy, Melba, Eugene, and Alice. This one is close for me, honestly, because then you go over to the gorillas and you have Boone, I think is super cute. Uh, Hans is really unique. You do have a lot of stinkers. That's the thing. But Pee Wee is kind of cute. Louie, I like. All right, maybe koalas win. But it's not, it's not as, it, it's not like this. Al completely ruins it. Al and Rilla just completely ruin that whole thing. Okay, what am I doing for these boys? I am doing... All right, think of someone who just never... I don't even know how to describe these boys. I've never played D and D. Honestly, I I shouldn't I shouldn't talk like this. I've never played it. I don't know. I kind of I like you know, little little role play in Animal Crossing. Maybe I would like it. Does anyone here play D and D? Make it a basement, <laughs> like an unfinished basement. <laughs> that would be cool. D and D is great. You know what? With the right people, D and D is probably a blast. No, listen. Yeah, forget what I said before. I think D&D, with the right people, could be amazing. You should play... Oh, yeah, Chase does that. Yeah, Chase does that. All right, how unfinished are we going here? <laughs> oh, this is rough. Never tried it? Like board games and strategy games, like that's cool. If you have if you have some good friends with you, it can be dope. Is that good for a basement? I don't know. I don't know what walls to use. Is there just like a Where's the walls with insulation coming out? Which where where are those? I keep I keep hitting A as B and B as an A because I I'm I've been playing a lot of Xbox. I've been playing yesterday I played Skyrim. Pat, when is my D D stream happening? Soon. Soon. I am the dungeon leader. What is it called? Dungeon Lord. I'm the dungeon guy. <laughs> Concrete wall. Amanda says, Dungeon Master, Dungeon Master. I'm the Dungeon Master. Amanda says, thanks for the stream. Uh, watching and kind of working as my as my hand is in a splint due to unfortunate event that happened Sunday. I fell and broke my hand. No. You just reminded me of... Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, by the way. I don't want to, like, brush over that. My first... Okay, guys... In the chat, oh, this is going to be so fun. This is, I'm going to put all of you on blast, including myself. In the chat, put what your, well, if you're old enough, what was your first screen name? <laughs> like your AIM? AIM? Yes, AIM. What was your first screen name? Was it K Daisy? There's no way. There's no way. Oh man, there's Wolf Boy Blue 06. Sushi Kid? That's a good one, actually. Oh my god. Dude, 
I remember AIM like, like, uh, you know, seventh, eighth grade. It was pretty big. So my AIM was Splint 203. That's why I thought of this. Because right before I made my screen name, I broke my finger. And it's still bent, by the way. I broke it twice. And my thing was Splint 203. <laughs> Damn. When you have no personality, so you have to use your injury as your... Oh, it's rough. Uh, I don't know what a basement looks like, apparently. Oh, Splint 203's on. All right, obviously we got to make it dark. So this one, I am going to actually do a bathroom. There's bathrooms and basements for sure, right? I'm going to do one over here. That's where the dungeon master goes. Let's bring back AIM. Honestly, though, well, stupid texting took over, right? Oops. Pat, which finger did you break? All right, you can, you should be able to see. So I broke, do you see it right here? It's bent. Do you see my finger is bent? This one right here, it goes up and then whoop, like up. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, well, my fingers are weird. Like I can do like weird stuff with them, you know? Anyway, so here's, here's how I broke it. I was playing baseball back then <clears throat> and I was lifting like little, I, w I was just playing around. I was like lifting like little hand weights and I guess, what is that partition called first? Small partition, medium partition. But anyway, I was playing with like little hand weights, right? And I was like moving them around. And I went like this, but like somehow my finger was out or something and it, and it hit it. And I was like, oh my God, that hurts so bad. Uh, but we were like five minutes away from going to my game. Cause I, I, I had a game and, uh, I <laughs> know we got nothing done. So we were on the way to my game and uh, it was hurting a lot. I played the entire game. And then when I, when I showed my dad, my finger, cause he was my coach at the time, it was so huge and purple. And I had to go right to the, it was like a walk-in clinic type thing. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. I feel like basements are just ugly most of the time, right? I don't know if I'm sold on this wall, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I pitched. I, I was a pitcher. And I played that whole game and I'm like, hey, dad, look at my look at my hand. <laughs> so funny. All right. Maybe this thing. Ooh, a fantasy room. That's kind of cool. See, here's the part I don't know is like, how do you make like a doorway? Do you just have to leave it open? I don't like that. Uh, Sarah with the five got hit by a car yesterday. Currently in the hospital in the broken bones club. Sarah, what the heck? Use the sidewalk. No, I'm kidding. No. Sarah, what the heck? We need hearts for you. So when you fully recover though, here's the thing. Here's the silver lining, okay? You can now say I was hit by a car. That's terrible. Is that a flex we want? I mean, 
if you're trying to be tough, right? If someone's like messing with you, <clears throat> where's the small? Uh, I want something. Do they have like tiny, tiny rugs? I wanted to make like bathroom flooring. Oh, this is tough actually. Do I really want, do I really want a bathroom? Is that what we want here? All right, what do they give us for this? Uh, computer. Okay, what do, what do the table situations look like for these games? It's this, right? The classic like game table. No one playing D&D &D has, uh, has to use the bathroom. Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. Is there a whiteboard involved? Like, how much planning goes into it? That's way too small. Oh, God. Oh, wait, because you have to have the... Uh, isn't it like a giant board or something? All right, we'll use this. Map on the table. <clears throat> Is it just called map? Oh wait, we gotta. We know we're gonna have a couple of these. I don't like the stereotype of gamers, but I I had I have some. I have some friends like this that have some interest in this and they do fit the stereotype of like messy chips everywhere. So we're going to go with that. Um, let's see. You know what? I kind of, I want to try something here. Oh, that's actually kind of dope. Like a, like an upstairs sort of illusion type thing. Might play around with that. See, it looks like you're going back upstairs, right? Oh wait, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. I gotta block that somehow. <clears throat> oh wait, did I miss something? Uh, Deja says, hi Pat. It's been two months already. Thank you for building such a beautiful space for us to come together over our love of AC and feel safe. I love that. Thank you. I'm sorry about that guys. I missed it. All right. I missed it. All right, who here has an amazing basement? Is it finished? Like, what are we talking about? Because there's always, like, a cool kid that has an amazing basement, and it's finished, has, like, a pool table in it. All right, I guess we need these, though. A territory game. All right, that looks pretty... That looks pretty weird. All right, what's the what's the dice situation? It just looks normal, right? Yeah, I don't gotta gotta overthink that. The bingo wheel, though, I hate you. I hate the bingo wheel. All right, let's just do by type. Um, let's see what we got here. Let's put one of these in. I don't know why I kind of like this ashy garbage going on here. All right. 
So maybe the dice is... I know someone said, like, to put a map on the table. The bingo wheel. I freaking hate this item. Well, I love it. Just not here. Wait, what? The pillars? What about them? Am I doing it wrong? Oh, TV area. Oh, I like that. Wait, what? What am I doing wrong? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> like that. Oh, okay. But now I have to move all this over. <laughs> All right, I got you. I got you. Okay, this this is kind of this looks like like a basement shelf. Just random garbage you probably shouldn't be touching, right? It does take up a lot of room, but I still I still like it. Put that there. I don't know. Just kind of like unfinished basement is what is where we're going. That's what I want to do anyway. I like the stair thing. I'm, I'm kind of proud of that. I won't, I won't stop talking about it. Uh, sloppy sofa. Let's go with the classic uh, basement blue, you know? We could we could hide the bingo wall. Yeah, that's I mean this is a this is kind of awkward, but there's no half, you know, walls or anything. You know what I'm saying? You know what, maybe. We'll make something else for that. All right, I actually might hide that. <laughs> Spiders, uh, I don't, I don't think I have a mini fridge. That's, that's the one thing I don't, well, not the one thing. I know I don't have that. I don't know why. I've done... Yeah, I only have like a big fridge. Oh, I could put a freezer down here. <laughs> Who was that tag back that had the... Uh, like the words coming from there? <laughs> that was messed up. You sick. Mice. Oh, yeah, someone... Oh, that's what they were saying. Where's the TVs at? Where's the big TVs at? How come I... You push the right stick in. I, they got to fix this, man, for the next game. Down from here. <clears throat> oh, I kind of want that retro TV. Yeah, the right stick. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's in miscellaneous. Okay. <laughs> All right. 50 inch. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, Let's see. 
Yeah, okay, I guess that right stick makes things a little bit easier. You know what? I think I like it. All right, we'll do one there. <clears throat> All right, let's do a rug. These boys. You know what? This room might be not might not be the fanciest, but these boys have fun here, okay? <laughs> See, there's this... I really just don't like the color of this. I kind of wish that there was... See, that looks like a crime scene. <laughs> I don't, I don't want that. We'll do our little simple, simple black one. All right, let's get some chairs going here. That right stick is actually dope. They need a big TV to watch. It's right there. It is right there. All right, what are we? Oh, the folding chairs, right? The folding chairs. How many players? Can you do can you do unlimited players at DD? What is it? What's the rules on that? Oh, the stack of board games. Where is that at? Uh Marie says, Hi Pat. Hope you're having a good New Year's. I am. Yeah, this year's been dope. Three to four is ideal. Optimal is four to six players. Interesting. Oh, this definitely. Oh, here's the map. Okay. Oh, we can have all of it. Oh, man. All right, let's move that like there. Or no, wait. So, okay. Does the dungeon master play? Or does he just like... He can't play, right? He just narrates. Yeah, because then that'd be unfair if he played. Let's put that here. So, okay, I guess they are playing because they're they're kind of, yeah, okay, I get it. But they can't win, right? Let's put some paint buckets here. Never leave your paint buckets open, everyone. All right, so we have the little sitting area here. We have the D&D. &D. This is, this is kind of dope. I might I might crash this party here. Washer dryer. Is Is there a washer dryer in this game? <laughs> How come I don't know this? Is there a washer dryer in this game? Is it there? That would be great though. A ceiling. Oh yeah. How come I don't What's it called? How come I don't remember this? <laughs> Is it just called washer? What? Am I losing my mind? I think I'm losing my mind. So, it's been nice. I don't know what it's called, though. Under order?
That's an air conditioner. Deluxe washer or automatic washer? All right, let's start. When I see it, I'll be like, oh, there it is. All right, let's go alphabetical. Micah, how's it going? Automatic. Probably don't have it. I, I shouldn't even look. No, I don't have it. Automatic washer. You guys pulling a prank on me? <laughs> or deluxe washer? No, I don't have it. I gotta look this up. I'm sorry. Automatic washer. Okay. <laughs> I guess there is. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Cool. Well, uh, what else? What else do you got going in here? Oh, we'll put the put the snacks over here. Uh, Gabby said, Pat does not stress me out. He's literally so great. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, some tools here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So my plan is that they've moved all of, all of, uh, dad's tools to play their game. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's not that I didn't believe you. It's just I was trying to see what the item looked like. Yeah, one of the washers kind of looks familiar. A ventilation fan. That sounds like, yeah, that sounds like... That sounds like a basement thing, right? Basement was always so creepy. We had our uh, we had our washer and dryer in the basement as a kid, and I would always like run down there, throw the clothes in, run back up. <laughs> oh man, what are you scared of, Pat? What the heck is down there? Socks. Oh yeah, the stack of board games or something. I believe I have that. If it is called stack. A train set? That would be... It's a very basement thing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> a ladder I kind of like using variants that I don't really use all that often yeah it's not in the order There's like another, there's a chess board in there. All right, let's put these guys over here. I like this. This is kind of cool. Single hanging light bulb. Oh, yeah, that would be good. What, over the table or something? <laughs> yeah, that was a good call. <laughs> that was a good call.
Um, let's see. Model kits. Wasn't it called model kits or something? I can never find anything. Valerie says, I just finished watching yesterday's stream and I received notification for this one. You'll love to see it. Yeah, I've been really, I've been really enjoying this. It was kind of weird because when it first came out, everyone was playing it and then I still had to finish my island. So I really couldn't give it too much time, but now I, I, I love it. It's great. One of these things. So I'm in like the in-between period of like, you know, islands. Would this look? Does that look weird? That looks weird, right? I don't know if I like the rug. It's just, it only comes in one color and the color is like bad. You like it. Okay. Oh, that if there was ever a place for a mounted bike, here you go. All you mounted bike fans probably screaming, crying. Put some more like outdoor stuff here. <clears throat> anything, anything can make sense in a basement. It's like storage and you know, like this generator. Why not? It's a basement. That's where you're supposed to store it. All right. Some things can make sense. Big freezer, I kind of like it. Yeah, I was going to put the freezer. Wish it was voice activated. Freezer! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, what's in this freezer? Tell me. Tell me all about it. Oh, this could be over here. Yeah, if you're just joining in, these are supposed to be stairs. Like, going upstairs. It's supposed to be sort of an illusion type thing. Um, okay. Different clothes. Two month. <laughs> bunch, of, bunch of kids cuisine in there. I don't think I have I have the sloppy table. That could be kind of cool. Oh, you know what? We could actually do some. Uh... Well, I don't have anywhere to put it, but we this is like kind of the, the spot where you can do sort of off season decorations. Because anything can go in there. There's an old uh, Halloween decoration, right? Someone said socks before. Yeah, these are only these are the only stacked items I have. Magazines, books, things like that. The sword on it. 
<clears throat> what else we got going on? I feel like we need more D&D stuff. Oh, man. Wait, do you... Do you dress up in D&D? Is that, is that a sometimes thing? I don't know. Costume, like a costume or something? I don't know. No? I don't know. These guys are crazy, though. They do it. Can you? Yeah, that's kind of weird. People do? All right. This is their guilds. <laughs> That's kind of dope. I need... Does anyone want to be my friend? We can play D&D. Order some Chipotle. That sounds like a great night. LARPing. Yeah, that's... Well, that's like a, a whole bunch of people. All right, I don't know where these went. Okay, uh, so these are the two families fighting. I can make... Oh, I, can, I should be a dungeon master, right? I can make all this lore. Spider webs. Do I have those? I don't think I have them. You really like the stairs? Thank you. It kind of gives off, you know, the basement illusion. Don't look at the doorway, though. Don't look where Tank is, you know? Oh, uh, let's see what else they got for inspiration. They just have, like, more games. I guess I could make more storage for games? I don't know. Small wood partition. Oh, wait, isn't there a medium one? It's just a walkout. Yeah. It's just a walkout basement. You guys never heard of that? Oh, wait. Pile of cardboard boxes. That actually makes a ton of sense. <laughs> They're so, like, frustrating to build. And I know that you guys might be frustrated right now, but... This is one of my favorite ones, I think. Ooh, cables. Cables. Let's see. Yeah, the boxes are good. Good call on that. We'll dim the lighting in a little bit. Oh, here we go with the medium one. This might be a better option here. Okay, yeah. Just some more storage. Uh, we can put our... Didn't we have another game? Our chessboard? I actually like chess quite a bit. Not saying I'm good at it, but I like it. Uh, we'll do, is there, there has to be different color dye. Does it, does different color dye mean anything? A sword.
I don't know what it's called. I'm trying to see what we have. Oh, there's always... There's always a punching bag. There's always a punching bag down there. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Double-edged sword. Oh, a player preference. Okay. Oh, here we go. Double-edged sword. Okay, that can't hang on the ground. All right. Dungeon master. My cousin Kyle had a punching bag in the basement. It's always the Kyles. Oh my god. There there has to be some like crazy setups like with mountains and stuff. Those are the people I want to play with. Kyle, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Ooh, I don't like all the red here. Not bad. The boys playing D and D. Let's go. This actually is dope. Uh, what am I missing? I mean, before you say that though, look at my space. Look at the space I'm working with. I know there's a million things that I probably could have, but All right, my boy's gonna get. <clears throat> my boy's gonna get weird here. Uh... Dungeon master vibes. Viking. Oh, look at him! <laughs> look at my little Viking. You know what? That's kind of perfect. It has like chip stains all over it and stuff. A vine outfit? That works too. Fuse box on the wall. Holly, thank you so much. Fuse box. All right, let's do it. Oh, like a breaker. Okay, I got you. It only comes in white. Interesting. Right when you get down to the basement, little breaker on there. I am enjoying this. Oh, a light switch. Yeah, we can do that. All right. I kind of want it over here. Oh my god. Looks great besides the rug. Wait, the blue rug? Do we want a different rug in there? I need more lighting. <laughs> Don't forget about the bathroom. It's too late for that. It is too late. I mean, it honestly doesn't even need a rug, but we'll, we'll shop around. Rachel, welcome in. That's actually not bad. Music. I'll put out music.
All right, let's do some music then. Oh, look at that light though. My favorite part is the Halloween decoration. Okay, where are we at? All right, we need our little upright speaker. A wooden speaker? Uh oh. I don't know where to put this. I don't really have surfaces. I mean, I could get rid of. <laughs> All right, which one? <laughs> These are the ones I have. KK dub. I just don't understand. I don't understand this, okay? You got 400 plus villagers to choose from. A lot of them are cute. A lot of them are... And you they keep choosing this. Villager for merchandise, for album covers. When are we going to cancel truffles? Please. It's over. It's over. All right? I just don't get it. I don't get it, guys. Can Can someone... I just don't get it. Oh my, if they came out with a Build-A-Bear truffles. That wouldn't be that high. This is kind of dope. All right. Get over here, you, you little dungeon master. All right, who's coming over to, to Tank's basement? We need a mage, we need a warrior, we need a jester, we need a couple archers as well, and then we need a wizard, so please. I'm digging this, hell yeah, alright, love the stairs. All right, we're done. An upstairs would be cool. An upstairs would be cool. Nah, I've just been playing a lot of Skyrim, Nicole. Rin, how's it going? Basement core, guys, I'm telling you. Look at how happy he is. Look at that angle. I love that angle, Animal Crossing. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. I really tried to, to capture the uh, confused father that doesn't get what's happening but his kids move his tools around and set up shop here. All right. You know what? I think we just found our next, I think we found our next challenge on discord. I think we're going basement.
All right, so that's my submission. I'll, uh, don't submit yours in the challenge photos yet. I'm going to update that. All right, so can I just leave now? No, jeez, I should have talked to him. <clears throat> uh, yeah, there is a Discord challenge. Check it out. So we already we had the first one, and what I'm gonna do, the person that gets the most votes, I'm gonna make them a new role where they have a crown like emo in their name. So it's kind of like a flex thing. That was a fun one. Yeah, so it's in Discord and it is it has its own thing. It's called Design Challenge, but the the channel's called Challenge Photos and then you vote with an orange heart the ones that you like the most. All right. All right, should we should we tour people's Builds? Should we do another build? What do you guys what do you guys want? I'm gonna go back and do the outside like all at once. Let's tour. Uh well okay, let's go to the next day and let's see if we have any villagers that like that look good. I can't do the hospital yet. Yeah, I didn't unlock the hospital yet. <laughs> oh my god. It, like, going back to the truffles thing, I just can't. It's such a meme at this point, because why? Truffles is in a lot of merch. Like, I got a blanket at Hot Topic and Truffles' face is on it. I for yeah, Steph, I'm forgetting the, the materials. Nintendo's obsessed with you. <laughs> oh man. I hope you have I hope you guys are having a good day though. Definitely hit that like button if you haven't yet. Helps out the stream. Get your uh get your codes ready, I guess. It's like Nintendo. I know. They put they put Eric in the trailer. They they put truffles all over things amelia how's it going you're gonna be so mad because amelia was on my beach and i just walked right on by sahara's here cool What's hot topic? Is it like TJ Maxx? Uh, no. Hot topic is basically a pop culture store now. It used to be a lot different. It's it's more like TJ Maxx than it used to be. Like think of anything pop culture, Funko Pops, shirts, things like like they used to be very much like hardcore punk goth type type things, but yeah, they don't really do that anymore. I like that piece of furniture. I don't know what it's called, but I like it. Old Hot Topic... Okay, there are some things about the old Hot Topic that are that were awful, and there are parts of the new Hot Topic that is great, but I think it's a shame that they don't sell, like, music anymore. They used to sell, like, CDs and vinyl, I think.
I remember always as a kid, like, being intimidated by Hot Topic. And I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe someone higher up said, Hey, can we tone it down a little bit? So, they're more inviting to go in. But yeah, if you go into a Hot Topic, you'll get plenty of supernatural knickknacks. Uh, the Office, Funko Pops, things like that. That's what they sell now. Animal Crossing, some Animal Crossing stuff. But yeah, pretty good uh, anime stuff. All right, let's see who's on here. All right, we got Poppy. Or, yeah. Um, knock off stitches. Is that Vic? Penguin lady. Uh, forgettable villager. Keaton. It's rough today. I might have to go to tours. Coach. That's coach. I guess it's all about what they want. Guy Fieri, Kyle. Oh, I like this guy. Uh, Pierce. Always forget his name. Always forget his name. Dude, Kyle, you already know how. <laughs> you already know you have the punching bag item. <laughs> Uh, let's do a Kyle house. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Clocking in. All right. Items are pretty. I have all of them. Uh oh. I'm getting to the point where I'm walking in a happy home and I'm like, I have all these. Before it was like a treat coming in here. Uh oh. I will say that. I'm still seeing new items. Like, every time we stream, I see dozens of new items that I've never seen before. Uh, what did she just say? I really should read. Oh, this is the hospital, right? Alright, we've arrived. This is the spot. This is the hospital. Alright, what am I going for here? What am I going for? All right. I kind of like the classic red and blue. I don't know. <laughs> Hannah, what the heck? That's a little bit more comforting, right? That looks good. Matching. Oh, I can do a. I can do a custom flag. See, I'm gonna have to come back here and like get some custom patterns. Just you know, just find a custom pattern for a hospital flag. You know, things like that. Abandoned. You know me too well. You know me too well. Abandoned hospital. You can't really do anything with the exteriors for abandoned, though. Well, the only thing is that there's going to be... There's going to... It's going to be so weird. If I do abandon, there's going to be people working there still and going there. All right, I'm just going to go basic. That, like, looks hospital, you know? Arsenic, how's it going? <laughs> oh, and hide that. All right. You know what? I, I have not seen... 
any I haven't seen like a lot of builds for these so I don't really know what I'm expecting here but the pressure's on now because I gotta design two rooms all right let's see oh we can make it smaller too I kind of like that size though All right, let's see what we got in the order. Oh, yeah. A lot of these are new. Office desk, hospital bed, examination room. That's cool. The medicine chest. That's where we're getting it. Hospital screen. I haven't really seen some of these before. Robot arm. Science pod. That's what it was called. <laughs> EKG, some tablet. Oh, look at that cute item. Toothbrush, a little cup of the toothbrush. See, I haven't seen that. Public telephone, first aid kit. These are cool. All right. What are we thinking here? What are we thinking? Are we going to do it? Are we going abandoned or what? Oh, God, that's perfect. Old stone tile. That is beautiful. <laughs> that's so great. The ramshackle is also good, but. Sketchy clinic. <laughs> ramshackle wall oh this is great but everything's gonna be like new i mean i guess i could <laughs> all right so let's get let's get going here Yeah, guys, this place, uh, if you're interested, thank you for pointing that out, Okay, Yeah, you can get, there's free vaccines here. So if you haven't been vaccinated yet, they're, yeah, they're giving them out for free here. So if you guys want to come over and, uh, you know. I don't like, maybe I do have to, there we go. <laughs> you got to get a COVID test after coming here for a COVID test. <laughs> oh man. I love it. I like this, but there's none that, like, look old. Maybe that one? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Where is our bathroom stuff? We're doing a bathroom. Imagine if there was like a, I'm telling you, there should be customizations for everything. There should be rusted toilets. There should be, you know, why limit, why limit ourselves? You know that bathroom smells like puke and death. 
Oh man, that's a goofy little customization. What am I getting Carlene for Valentine's Day? I don't know yet. I do not know yet. And even if I did know, I probably wouldn't say it here. Right, that's far too nice, right? Yum, yum, yum. Is there anything wall mounted we can do in here? Probably not, right? Oh, we'll do a phone here. I don't really know how hospitals work, you know? Is there any cool customizations for these? Brown, no, that looks too new. <laughs> it's freezing in there. These haven't worked for years, so don't even look at them. All right, we got a little bathroom going on there. Uh, maybe let's go in here. Oh, the waiting room. These are great. Nordic sofa? What is this? That's kind of cool. I don't know if I've seen that yet. All right, what do these smell like? Talk to me. It's super musty. <laughs> oh, you you guys are all sick like me. Um, let's see. What else do they have in a waiting room? What is a wash basin? You know what? I'm going to... Flowers? I'm going to put this in here. I don't know. Uh, operating room cart. Robot arm. I don't know. Some of this stuff is creepy. Silent Hill vibes, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Let's do a couple of these. Oh my God, I can't be in the middle of that. <laughs> uh yeah let's do one of these all right so i know we haven't built it all yet but like someone goes up to you and they're like all right how much money would it take you to stay a night in here alone what kind of what kind of price are you at? Within reason. Within reason. I'm going to have the palm survive. Five K. Five K. 
Ooh, here's where it gets good, though. Nature always comes back. Oh, this might... We're, we're doing some good stuff today. Oh, wait. And you can customize these. We got vines. We got... <clears throat> what else do we have here? Oh, the fluorescence. We love the fluorescence. I know. I don't know why I don't have cobwebs. Oops. Yeah, they're wall mounted. I don't I don't know if I actually have them. Wall mounted. I I didn't see them last time. Oh, we got cameras in here. I don't know. I don't know if I did the bug off on this account. I got to be honest. I thought I did. <laughs> no, just one. Creepy stuff. I'm not going here. Hell no. Oh, uh, I know what I want. I don't know if I have it. I don't know if I have my whole inventory. Please tell me I have a wheelchair. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. We do, we do, we do. No, <laughs> I love the graffiti on that. That's so freaking good. That is so good. Oh, I love that. Okay. All right, back to this now. <laughs> uh, office chair. You know what? I don't... I kind of want to make this look a little dated, so I don't want a screen there. <laughs> the funniest thing is that there's going to be villagers working here. That's the funniest thing to me. I know this is operating room stuff, but it is abandoned, so it could pretty much be anywhere. Oh, yeah, the CPR doll and stuff. I didn't get any of that. Got a first aid kit there. Uh, 
Oh, wait, you can do a different... Oh, okay. <laughs> Fax machine? Oh, come on. I definitely have to have one. What the heck, dude? Oh, here we go. The villagers are just ghosts. Oh, look at that. I never knew about this. Look at that little frog there. I never knew about that. That's creepy enough to work. Okay. Yeah, metal can. Why not? We got one of these here. <laughs> Secrets you didn't know. Even more. Oh, let's do something. You got to do the sad stuff, too. Let's do... Yeah, let's do some, like... I don't know, like waiting room, like little toys maybe left behind or something. <laughs> I wish I could do like, uh, like weird clothes or something. Got a Barbie left behind. Oh, maybe it was a kid's hospital. Oh, oh, these are good. These are good. Oh, was it a kid's hospital? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't like this one bit. This took a turn. This took a turn. All right, rugs. I don't think I have that. I don't think I have the shanty one. <laughs> you always do this. Uh, I don't I don't think I have the, yeah, like the torn up shanty one. No. Make sure if you visit this abandoned hospital, you wipe your feet, please. I'm actually begging you, please. All right, we got the blocks here. Uh, Jenny with the five. Hi, Pat. Shout out to my son, Dylan, who is 15, who has started his own YouTube channel. Dylan. Let's get it. Dylan, here's my, here's my biggest advice, okay? Stay with it. Stay with it as long as you can. I got to be realistic though, but stay with it as long as you can. Be consistent. Have fun. If you're not having fun anymore, then you don't have to do it. But good luck. I wish I wish I was that age when I started cuz who knows? Who knows what what would have happened, you know? Uh we'll do some boxes here. I'm surprised the order doesn't have, um, yeah, like the, the skeleton and stuff. <laughs> this is so messed up. Oh, what did I just pick up? Oh, the stuffed animal. Do I still have that? Of course I do. Oh, nope. 
What did I just do? <laughs> Stop smoking, people. Then your floor will look like this. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Which one was it? See, this is why you can't smoke, everyone. I don't even know where it was. No, that was the perfect floor. I got to find it. There we go. How do you do that? Custom design, cigarettes, place on floor. Or no, oh, display here. I see. There we go. Couple cigarettes there. Oh man. The fact that like the middle the middle of the floor is like a darker you know that just smells awful, right? Ugh. Alright, I kinda wanna go to the back. Put our little Put our little bear friend back. <laughs> All right. So this is a good start. Let's go to the back. I'm going to do same flooring, same wallpaper. What is my goal in life? My goal in life, uh, to just, I don't know. That's a, that's a big question. What are your goals in life? I don't think, I don't think my goals in life are career oriented. I, I just think that they're like personal being happy, things like that. Just this year. Um, let's see. Well, if we're talking just this year, oh, there's an animal, a person, animal. Oh my God. Just this year, I would like to continue, you know, with the momentum that we have on this channel. My second channel, I really want to, um, beef up that. I would like maybe like 20 K, even if it isn't, you know, like a specific number, I just want to be happy with what I'm putting out on the second channel. Um, I want to get more healthier, like just be healthier this year. Start living a healthier lifestyle. <laughs> Do I want to leave this? No, I kind of want to. How am I feeling about the second channel so far? I'm feeling good about it. I mean, if we're talking like viewers and stuff like that, I feel like, you know, compared to how many subscribers I have, it's amazing viewers. I also know that I'm bringing the viewers over there from this channel, but I'm feeling really good about it. I'm kind of, I wish I could, you know, focus more on it. Uh, but I'm happy with it so far. I think that's going to be a really fun channel. All right, we'll do something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm excited though about that channel. I could literally do anything. I can cook on there. I could do anything. This is a creepy item, eh? Damaged. Here we go. Everything should be damaged. I'm 
I'm liking this hospital. <laughs> uh, the order here. Hospital bed. Oh, man. I wish there was a damaged one for this. I'll take brown, I guess. Uh, let's do... You know what? I might move these around. It's a little intimidating doing a second channel where like the views are a hundred percent driven from you. You know what I'm saying? Like on this channel, animal crossing and Nintendo pretty much make up my content this year. I'm going to have to be a little bit more creative, like with what I do. Cause there's not going to be any real updates or anything, but the other channel, it's like, I'm bringing everything, you know, it'll be fun though. I'm not too stressed. We got this thing. These pillars aren't bad. That's a different look, right? Uh, we are going to play. Yeah, we're, we're going to play new games when they come out. Actually, you know what? I probably could. That looks a little bit better. Breath of the Wild 2, Pokemon's coming out soon. Oh, I'm so excited for Pokemon. This is kind of a weird setup for patience, but I don't know. <laughs> There's not too much privacy back there. <laughs> Anyway, some wall-mounted stuff. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. A lot of budget cuts. Breaker in there for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what's happening in here. I don't want any part of it. That's all I know. Making a dungeon. Oh, I can do this. I can do graffiti on this too. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know what this does, but I don't want to find out. Uh, by the way, we're going to do um, tours very soon. So if you have a, uh, if you have some homes you want me to come see. Uh, what do we got here? <laughs> Lottie's like, what are you doing? What are you actually doing? Yeah, happy home tours. You know what? Maybe I should get rid of this one. Yeah, because I want them to. I want them to come in here. I mean, they still can't really get on the beds. I don't know. They'll figure it out. It's not my problem, right? 
I'm just the guy building it. All right. Um, does this have any? No. All right. Who's drinking this water? Who is drinking that water? Let me know. <laughs> Jennifer with the five. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> the water's the... I don't know why... Yeah, I don't know why the water is so clear on that. Oh, no. These should go over here. Got some blocks in the corner. See, it gets too real when there's, like, bears involved. Super sticker train. I don't know about that. Let's put that in the corner. I don't know who the doctor is going to be. We're going to have to see. I Because I kind of forget who I've made stuff for. That's going to be fun, though. A creepy doctor. I'll try my best. <laughs> um, let's do something. Oh, God. I don't know why this would be here, though. That kind of makes no sense. Just make it make sense, all right? Make it make sense. You don't know what's in there. Truffles is the doctor. Oh, wait. I got to move this. I kind of like it. I bet they're really nice in here. Or they were. All right. We got to go back to probably the most important part. <laughs> we got the vines over here. Oh, wait. We probably should do the uh, these guys here first. Got our lights. Oh, look at this. What a weird place. I guess we'll mix in some greens. Some like dark greens. <clears throat> let's go I do like some of these too some weird glowy glowy plants man I am staying away from here there, there's no way there's no way you would catch me in here hell no Hell no. Nope. I don't know if I adjusted the uh, the lighting out here. I kind of like the windows. No, I kind of like the windows just because I don't have a lot of lighting here. So the very little light that I get from it, like it looks natural, I think. How do I, uh, 
How do I polish things again? Oh, this thing? Okay. Wait, what am I using? <laughs> Alright, don't touch the toys. Flickering lights? Oh my god. That would be so great. Flickering toy or flickering lights would be so good. I don't think I can get to that bear, can I? <laughs> oh man. Yep. Just a little bit. I like when it's subtle. That machine's kind of like shorting out a little bit. This thing's just kind of... <clears throat> there you go, Animal Crossing. I bet you didn't think I'd do this, huh? All right. Let's see what Lottie thinks. Wait, what did I just do? How are things going? I'm finished. Okay, the doctor. This is who we got. I know my restaurant. Oh man. Imagine if I made everything like that. Uh, glowing with the five. Thank you so much. Could do Roscoe. Roscoe's a little creepy. And what is it? An assistant too? You know what? Lionel looks weird though. Oh, yep. Yep. I think I, I, I picked, I think I picked the right one. This dude is a menace. Even if this, okay. Even if the hospital was perfectly clean and everything, I, if I see this guy, I'm walking out, you know? Pudge the assistant. Did I make Pudge something else? He just looks evil. All right, Pudge. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. There's some lore happening here. He was a part of an experiment gone wrong or right, depending on who you are. That looks weird. That looks more creepy. There's your lore, you little hooligans. What is this? Head bandage? And you work here. Confirm. Before we do this, we need to give our new hospital a name. Uh, let's give it a name. Uh, my first thought was like Hooligan Asylum.
Creepy Clinic. <laughs> Saint Hooligans. <laughs> Last Rites Hospital. Oh my god. Saint Horror. I like either General or Asylum. Which one do you like? Change the doctor coat. There's a distressed one. All right, we're going to have to change it. Make it subtle. Okay, general. General Asylum. Hooligan Memorial. Oops. Oh, God. Uh, so you won't give it a new name then? Yes, I will. All right, we'll do Hooligan General. What do I keep? Oh, I keep hitting X because I'm playing Xbox. All right, there we go. Hooligan General. There's still patience here. Oh, the waiting area. <laughs> Guys, get out of here. Get away from the toy box. I didn't see any good pictures in that. Uh, Pear Bear, what's the copay price look like for Hooligan General? <laughs> look at that. Uh, back in the day, the, the copay was $15. Um, now you're not supposed to be in here. I don't know why everyone's in here. <laughs> There's no good pictures. Glad you found your HHP group. <laughs> Copay is one soul. I brought the hospital staff. I also went ahead and recruited a few patients too. How do you recruit a patient? Would you break their kneecaps? Recruiting a patient. Um, okay. Let's take the photo. I even found some injured villagers outside. Yeah, that's the perfect doctor. So good. Look at Pudge. He even looks uncomfortable. That was a great, that was a great pick. Hooligan general. Uh, I'm so happy. I'm really happy about this, how it came out. You gave me a budget of a hundred thousand dollars and I spent 5,000 of it. So I'm very excited about this. I know it looks so nice out. <clears throat> Able to complete the hospital. Cool. Just be careful to watch out what you eat, Lottie. Yeah, Lottie, watch out what Nico hands you is the real thing. Okay, you're doing fine. It's that weird food he picked you up, you know. Just uh, watch what he feeds you. 
25k. Let's do it. <laughs> Alex. Oh, man. Beautiful day to go to a hooligan general. Uh, do you want to call it a day? I think I'm done. Okay. We're going to go check out houses now. We'll see whatever you guys have been up to. Okay. Wait, I gotta... I kind of want to update my... I don't know. We're just going to go to the showroom. Leave mats. Yes, I will. I will. I will. All right, I want to I want to change out some things on mine. I got to add some things to mine. All right, let's Let's post the tabletop games. No. Let's do, <laughs> uh, this bakery was pretty cute. I'll post that one on Monday. Joan goes to the hospital and gives turnips. Really? Um, what else do we have? Oh, this was uh punchy's house. Hold up. I'm just, I'm just updating mine. Um, oh, the paint class. Yeah, some of these are good. Post the hospital. Okay. Hooligan general. Did I not take a photo? Are you kidding me? All right, I'm gonna have to go back. Cool. Well, that's my code. If you guys wanna ever visit some of this stuff, I'll update it with the, uh, the hospital eventually. Oh, oh, I see. I thought that the outside photo counted towards that. And I could change. Yeah, I could change Lionel's clothes anyway. All right. Put in your codes and let me know which house you want me to see the most. Also, if you're interested, if you're interested, we've been posting like highlights of the stream over on TikTok. So if you have TikTok, you can always go follow me there. It's at Nintendtalk. Ninten T O K K. Check it out. All right, let's see where we're going here. They're funny clips. They're great. <clears throat> let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, Kelsey, Kelsey's editing them. All right, this is a good one. We'll start here. I can't be too picky with this because, you know, they're kind of like rapid fire tours i mean i don't know the most i've ever spent at one is probably like five minutes five ten minutes all right let's check it out this one okay oh we have some good ones here okay 
So if you ever wanted to know where Red lives, here it is. Art Thieves Retreat. Let's check this out. Have I ever seen a red one? I don't know. All right, here we go. This is Red's house. How are you affording that yacht, man? We got crates and stuff. This is a really good idea because, oh, and this is a perfect venue too because we have docks here. Very good house choice. All right, let's go inside. Honestly, I should be taking everything in Red's house because he's bamboozled me way too. Oh yeah, here we go. See, Red is living like a king because he, he constantly bamboozles, tricks us. It ain't fair. Wow. I wasn't expecting this. Red, who is your interior designer? Look at this. How do we like this? Catherine the Ten says, got diagnosed today with breast cancer. feel like I've been in a fog ever since. So glad to have your stream to come home to and help take my mind off things for a while. Let's get a like spike. Kathy, we can give you all the hearts in the world. I'm, I'm very sorry to hear that. We're here for you. We are here for you. I love these panels here, sort of making like a, kind of like a fake door. All right, let's go up. Let's see what Red's doing upstairs. Red is like super sophisticated. What is this? There's a bow and arrow item in this game? I had no idea. Okay, so red... Oh, wait, is this where you make your fakes? Or are you actually like a lover of art? Or is this where you have all your jollies? I'm on to you, Red. I was not expecting this, I gotta say. This is, this is good. Definitely where he makes his forgeries, for sure, yeah. This is great. This is really good. I like it. All right. I really need to make an NPC house. Maybe that'll be my video series on YouTube. All right, put your codes in. Give me a little description. Let me know what you want me to see. Ooh, here we go. All right. I'll try to pick these faster so we can do more of them. Six, four, two, four, three. Okay. Gruff's House of Horrors. But then we also have Clay's House of Chills. So basically you're a maniac. A space station all to... I'm sensing a theme here. Uh, okay. Gruff's House of Horrors. Let's check it out. Does anyone have Gruff? Gruff's a little bit of a weirdo. Oh, God. <laughs> and he's in the freaking field. Yeah, anytime you see, like, this is creepy. Walk away. Walk away. What's that on your... Is that a blood mark on your head? What is that? There's a grave... Oh, there's a couple graves in here. And then Gruff is just... Okay. All right, let's go in here. The graves. The 
Gruff's like walking around like he's like he's proud of this. You just film people here? Is that what you do? This is sick. The camera, the camera, the camera, the camera is what I'm having a hard time with. Like everything else, you know, you got a torture room, whatever. What do you do with the film? You got a chandelier here. Yeah, Gruff is a weirdo. Imagine you go out on like a Tinder date with someone and then you go back to their house and this like, oh, all right, let's get out of here. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So did you like the Olive Garden? Yeah, come back to my place. I have a camera. Anyway, <laughs> let's get out of here. Let's leave. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. At least he's cozy with the wood heater. Yeah, at least he, you know, makes it a little cozy with the heater. Cool. All right. <laughs> Give me some codes here. Carleen! Carleen, how are you doing? All right. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, 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 ooh. This could be good. This could be good. Uh, where is it though? Okay. So I was told that this was, what was it? A sixties, like a sixties, uh, surf shop. All right, let's check it out. I hope this is the one. Lots of vibrant colors. Okay. I want to build my store so bad. That's the one I'm looking forward to like the most is building that department store. All right. This, this is cool. Yeah. Very beachy. I love the changing room. This is genius. Oh, the changing room is genius. I love it. I love it. I love it. With the little partitions up there. Avery. What's going to work on you, huh? Got all... This is cute. I love all the clothes and the colors and stuff. Look at that. Got our beach decorations here. This is great. Carlene wants me to order this couch from Wayfair. It looks... It looks okay. I... I really, I'm skeptical about ordering a couch that I have never sat in before. Does anyone else feel the same way? Like, it looks good. I like the way it looks. I, we'll talk about it. I'll, I'll probably end up ordering it. But like, what if I get it and it's super, like, it's like sitting on a board, you know? And I'm like, great. Now I have this couch that I ordered. We'll talk about it. <clears throat> All right, give me your codes. I did um I did see a good one, but I couldn't hold it. Oh, here it is. All right, let's see this one. Six, two, five, five. 
Oh, these are cool. Uh, which one did I want to see? I wanted to see... A trashed hobo home. I think it must be this one. Look at that flight, though, with Wisp! Look at little Wisp there with the Nintendo hat! Alright. Let's go see this freaking... Oh... All right. Like normally when I come off of like a, a plane or boat or however I got here, I'm like excited. Uh, but who's excited to see this guy? You're really close. Anyway, look at this charming yard. Lots of life here. Nice car. All right, let's go in. All right. Well, all right. So you're on a, you're on a Tinder date and you come back here. What do you do? Wait a second. I love the, uh, the cracked screen. That's a really cute detail, man. This kitchen is rough. <laughs> we need a GoFundMe for Harry. This is rough. I love this though. This is great. We got footprints everywhere. The TV doesn't work. We got freaking bush light on the ground. This is not good. There's a 70% chance this guy has a SoundCloud. This is, this is like so good. It's so bad. It's good. You know, like you nailed the aesthetic. You got mismatching chairs. You got junk everywhere. You got newspaper on the table. All right. Cool. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Harry's definitely one that comes up to you and he's like, where's my hug type guy. All right. In the chat. Sorry, mods. What's in this bottle? What is in this bottle? Sorry, mod. I'm so sorry about this. What's in the bottle? It ain't water. Let's just say that. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Why go to the bathroom when I got my water bottle here? All right, let's go. Let's leave. Wardell, get me out of here. I need a, I need a test. I need to go to CVS real quick. Anyway, put your codes in the chat. Let me know where I'm going. That was beautiful, by the way. I love that. I kind of wanted to go to that plane too. Hot dog juice. You need to be arrested. Uh, thank you for the donation. I, I'm not doing any sort of briberies. I love you. I love you very much. Thank you for the NTs. Wait, that's, what is that currency? I want to live there. All right, let's go. Um, mm, mm, mm. Let's see. I don't there's so many good ones. I like kind of, I, I like, I really like NPC houses. I also like meme houses or like super weird. Uh, all right, let's go here. Why not? I also will visit flex builds if that's really what you want. I just like the unexpected houses. Okay. Uh, Twiggy's party. All right, Twiggy's Twiggy's party. All right, let's go see. Who's going to a Twiggy party though? All right, let's go.
All right. Let me know if you would go here. This is Twiggy's party. We got bottles everywhere. Why is there pizza out? Oh, because there's a DJ, Pat. Of course. Why is pizza outside? Because there's a DJ. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Last night was a movie. All right, let's go in. Laura with the five. You should also look at the Nintendo feed. Also, Laura with the... Oh. We can look at that. We can look at that, definitely. Man. Check this party out. See, I'm always upset when I come here. When I come to parties and stuff, because there's no villagers here. So did... Did no one show up or is this the aftermath? There is a bunch of trash bags. So I think this is the aftermath, which I can, I can get down with. We have snacks everywhere, but none of the food is touched. See, you know, all right. Twiggy wants to play the game. Are we voting black? Are we voting red. You have to put all your money on this. Okay. I know Twiggy's going to mess this up. All right. Red or black, red or black. My little gambling hooligans. Twiggy stopped it on red. <laughs> Twiggy stopped it on red. All right, we got some, some couches over here. This is cool. I like it. I don't know why, like in, in college, I would, ho I would host a lot of the parties and that doesn't seem appealing to me at all. Like now I would love to, if I had to party, I would go to a party because then I could just leave whenever I want. When you're hosting a party, you got to wait, you got to wait till everyone's gone. And there's always a few people who stay way too long. Yeah, I remember, Carlene. I remember. It's like, why did I why did I want to host? Anyway. If you haven't yet, hit that like button. Yes. Like that episode in Seinfeld. Yeah, I'm I'm like weirdly obsessed with Seinfeld right now. I've always liked Seinfeld, but I'm just that's my show right now. Okay, we got to go here. Sorry about that. These are going to be rapid fire. So, you know. Four, seven, four, five. All right. A robe. The robot arena. Okay, so we have a robot fight. Let's let's check this out. A robot fight. What theme is this? All right, we got the outside. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of perspective builds, you know? I think that's supposed to be like a mountain in the back, big clock tower, some houses up there. But the inside is what we really want. So let's go inside. I love the New Year's hat and stuff. Oh my God. Look at the perspective here. And the, the, oh, I can't even talk. Can't even talk. I love the steam, how everything's on fire. We got the robot and the dinosaur. Damn. See, the, the polishing can be good. This is actually insane. And there's an upstairs. What the heck's going on upstairs? This is so good. All right, let's go upstairs. We got a mini fight here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. It looks like some like VR stuff is going on. I don't like this villager. Who is this? Prince. I don't like him. But he has a robot shirt on. 
Laura with the 20, sorry for trolling you. Here's a makeup donation. As always, thanks for the laugh. Thank you, Laura. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, all the steam and stuff. Okay. Nintendo, I know I ask a lot of you. Polishing outside. Could it work? Could it work? I think it could. Works inside. There would there would have to there would have to be a limit. There would have to be a limit. So maybe like 10 things in total you can polish. And then if you go for the 11th thing, the first thing that you polish goes away and, you know, cuz it couldn't load like the game would run terribly. If it had to account for like 50 polished items. So there there would have to be a limit, but I think that it could be worth it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. There's so many good ones. All right, I just got to pick one. Okay, let's do this one. <laughs> All right, so... This is... This is the one I'm looking at, right? Someone's doing fireworks outside and it's four. Okay. Yes, we're doing coppers here. So this is copper off duty, which is an interesting concept. Copper off duty. They need to add the NPCs back. The next game, expect all of these guys back. Seriously. We're going to have a police station next game. We're going to have the hairdresser, everything. Love the yard. Love all the blues. All right. My boy is just relaxing. I feel like I'm not supposed to see this. I <laughs> I was expecting a police station, but now we're in his house. You want to play? Okay. Da -da 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 -ba -da -ba. Okay, some more partition column work. You love to see it. Got his little station. Okay. This is a quaint little house. Wait a second. Wait a second. Why isn't that lined up? I'm going to lose my mind here. Why isn't that couch lined up? What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Oh, wait, what's back here? All right, let's go upstairs. <laughs> no, there's nothing in the wall. Copper lives like a king. Little weird that you have a picture of yourself, but maybe that's like an award or something. Oh, this is a cute way to do a bathroom with like these hanging partitions or whatever.
Copper is giving me midlife crisis vibes. Am I alone in that? Copper is definitely... He's got the... The games here. He probably just bought a new computer. Probably just has a Porsche in the, in the back. All right, buddy. You don't have to prove you're cool to me. I You're swell. All right, cool. Copper is hella built. <laughs> Dude's built like a fridge. You know what? That'd be cool to, to do some of these in first person. All right. That was cute. I really like that. I like the, I like both of the ideas, like building NPCs, either their own home or like redesigning their shop. I like both of those ideas. That was well done. Midlife, divorce, dad. All righty. Ooh, okay. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. This sounds good. Six, five, three, seven. Uh, I think it is Crypt Coffee. I like the name of that. Crypt Coffee. And it's all like gothy. Okay. Let's go in. Let's check out this cafe. What's up? Welcome to Crypt Coffee. Thank you, Cherry. All right. I think I can hang out here for a little bit. Oh, look at the uh look at the boxes. This could be a cool theme. We got the weird plant going on. You brought your kid here. It's called Crypt Coffee. Love it. They probably make a mean cappuccino. All right, upstairs. This is why I came here. Because upstairs, you get your coffee. And then you get a tattoo. How cool is that? Crypt Coffee. Free tattoos. All right, we got to go over which tattoo each of them would get. Okay, first off, Ellie. Think of a basic tattoo, and that's what you got. Ellie, I'm getting a strong live, laugh, love vibe. I'm getting, like, an anchor vibe. Maybe the infinity symbol. A butterfly. That's a good one. Yep. Okay. Now on to purple thing i don't know what i don't know her name i feel like she's definitely gonna get some like emo band lyrics some like weird you know definitely some uh some lyrics going on queenie queenie okay a dragon okay stabbed heart with lyrics all right. Uh, next up, we have Robin. I feel like Robin's going to get like a neck tattoo or something. Something weird. You don't want me giving you a tattoo. That's going to be that's going to be bad. Full sleeve. Yeah, maybe a sleeve touch up. You know? Cephalobot, I would say what tattoo you're getting, but you're made of metal. You don't get tattoos. You get an oil change. I don't know. What do robots get? I don't know. This is a really cool idea. A cafe tattoo shop. I like it. 
Finally got your Christmas card. There you go. A bumper sticker. This is really cool. Oh, Cephalobot is a serial number? Oh my god. Cephalobot is the tattoo artist. I see. I made a tattoo shop, but it, it it's like lacking. It's it's a good base, but it doesn't really have a lot in it. Ooh. How can I say no? Six, two, six, five. I think... I think Wisp is my favorite character in Animal Crossing. I think so. There better be more to this house... Look at that wizardly watchtower. Is this the house? Do I even have to go here? I'll go here. <laughs> like, look at him. He's just so great. I mean, obviously you got Jack. If we're talking villagers, you got Eric, but like, Wisp is so great. Did you guys know I like Wisp? Oh, okay, anyway. Let's go in here. Two floors, okay. Um, oh god. Yeah, whenever you see Wisp, you never know where he's gonna where he's gonna go. How are you doing that? How are you doing that? All right, let's go upstairs. This is eerie though. I, I don't like it. I don't like how it's so minimal. Like, you know what? Actually, you're the star in this. Why put furniture? You know, look at his dopey little face. Who's better, Wisp or Jack? Talk to me. There are still people out there that aren't sure of buying Happy Home Paradise when this exists. All right. Um, Jack, I like Jack because you don't really see him too often, which makes him special. But I don't know. Seeing Wisp is always great. All right. Moms, how's it going? <laughs> Some of these are so funny. <laughs> um, let's see. By the way, if you're just if you're just chilling on your your switch or whatever, feel free to put in one of these codes. Normally, I don't encourage that because we go to like live, you know, tours sometimes. But these are just like anyone can visit. All right, let's choose one. Ooh, this is good. This is good.
All right. Wow. Check out that yard. Check out all these yards here. Uh, I don't think you have the one that you said. It was supposed to be uh, Chabwick and someone else roommates. Oh, Chabwick and Dom. Okay, here we go. Chabwick and Dom as roommates? Or no, this is a frat house. Chabwick and Dom's frat house. You gotta love the leather couch on the beach. We got beer bottles everywhere. Chabwick is still drunk. Look at Chabwick. He's barely here. Dom still committed. All right, let's go in. You could do like endless themes. Oh God. Living on your own. It's, it's the dream. Uh, Bones with the five high pat. Thanks for visiting Crypt Coffee. I'm in training to be a tattoo artist. So I knew I had to make a studio in that space. Much love. I love it. I loved it. Here we go. Uh, we got plenty of trash. This is super realistic though. This is actually, I mean, this is, look at the kitchen. I absolutely love the kitchen. We got ramen out here. It smells like a foot in here. This is why I know it's realistic. Look at the boys did. A stack of boxes as an end table. The stolen cone. There, Yeah, for some reason. I don't know what it is. But even I did it. I had a giant... So when I was in like an apartment like this, I had a giant stop sign on the wall. And like when people would come over, they would sign it with Sharpie. I don't know what it is about street items that like... It's so weird. Says the guy with the cardboard. For now. For now. This is great. I absolutely love this. We got the university banner here. I, I'm obsessed with the kitchen. I love the kitchen so much. Is it edgy? Is that why? Bro, I got a cone. Really? Where'd you get it? Where'd you get it, bro? I got a yield sign in my bathroom. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Anyway. Well, I didn't, I wasn't the one who like, I wasn't the one who planned it. One of my roommates got the stop sign, but we just made it a thing. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> oh man. All right, uh, I really want to see this one. We're going to do a double, double dip. Teacup and shortcake. We got to go here. Look at these friends. All right, so this is the difference between a uh, guy frat house and, you know, we got this adorable house. Look at this. We got the butterfly patterns. This is so cute. And you got an upper. Oh my God. Look at this yard. This is a work of art. Look at that. And then you got the frat house down the street. Oh, is this like a little shop too? Wait a second. This is Tia, right? Literally get out of my way. Okay. Uh, we have a shop over here.
Thank you. Check out this little cafe over here. We got the to-go boxes. The planters. Yeah, I like those planters. So good. This is great. Look at the little cookies and stuff. All right, let's go upstairs. Are you liking Garden Story, Carlene? Raise up. Let's go. Uh... And then we have a, you know, a little apartment up here. Look at this kitchen. Everything's immaculate. Love the dividers. I got to start doing more stuff like that. What a cute place. Wow. 10 out of 10. Uh, Garden Story is basically like a little indie game where you play as a grape and the world looks really cute and stuff. It's like an adventure, like action adventure game. And that's what Carlene's been playing. I've been playing, um, I've been playing a little bit of everything. Like Sparklight, I was playing. And the game that I started a little bit ago is Littlewood. Littlewood is okay. It's kind of, it's, it's boring. But it's like a town builder little indie game. There's no combat though. Yep, it's on the Switch. Mm -mm. There's no combat in Animal Crossing. <laughs> but here's the thing about, like... So, like, the games that I'm talking about, like, Garden Story came out earlier this year. It would just, and I know, like, there'll be some people that are like, oh, Pat, play what you want. But I'm playing games that came out in, like, 2017, 2018. It would just be weird to stream. I'll stream random games like Family Feud and stuff, because that's, like, timeless. But it's just weird to stream, like, a little indie game. I don't know. But they're really fun. You should try them out if you need some suggestions. Mo, how's it going? Littlewood is Littlewood is really fun. It's a little it's a little boring, but it's pretty addicting. <clears throat> All right, let's choose one. All right. No more codes. Cozy Grove, I never gave a chance because I don't like the art style. And everyone, everyone's like so shocked when I say that. I just, it doesn't seem like a game I would like. I'm very picky when it comes to art styles and things like that. All right, Isabel's house. Let's do it. I don't know. Just something about Cozy Grove. I don't, I don't gel with. All right. If anyone was wondering where Isabel lived, here it is. This is Isabel's house. You finally are out of the office. Isabel. All right. Stardew's fun. We got Isabel. Oh, her little work stuff is in the front. She got an ocean view. How much are you getting paid over there? How much How much are you getting paid? A little sitting area. We got our gold roses here. Business one. Yeah, it's very, very nice. And look at her on her yoga mat, too, in front of the beach. 
Damn. Isabel. I love Isabel. We, we would never be friends in real life. It just wouldn't work out. I, she's like the type of person I would walk by and say, hey, Isabel, how's it going? Like small talk. We'd never hang out though. We're just too different. Little Dragon's Cafe I really liked. And then check this room out. Super cool. And then I love this. This is such a great idea. Even though you can't go back here, I love the idea of it. Check this bathroom out. These partitions, that's a great idea. My girl makes bells. Why did I just realize my Etsy's in your description? It's always in the description. Uh, Life with Katie with a five. This will be my first super chat ever sent. All right. I've been a lurker for a long time, but here's my official hi, Pat. Thank you for your fun streams. Katie, thank you so much. Was it, was it worth the hype? Thank you so much, Katie. I noticed that the other day and bought something. Yes. Carlene is... Carlene is about to drop hot fire for Valentine's Day, okay? My my Valentine's merch is officially being made right now. Or designed, I should say. But Carlene's Valentine's merch, if you're a fan of, you know, Valentine's, it's good. It's good. Definitely worth the hype. Okay, cool. <laughs> when are you posting it? Well, after the codes. After the codes. Uh, all right, let's do this. I think after this, what we're going to do is look at the feed. I never really look at the feed, so I don't know. We'll just kind of browse that. We might go right, right back to doing them, but I think this is it. All right, Carlene, when are you dropping that? When are you dropping the merch? It's really good. It all smells good. Looks good. Okay, where are we at? Uh, Clay's House of Chills. Here we go. Erica, thank you for coming out. This is going to be good. Clay's House of Chills. Look at that little short guy in there. Look at this weird little house. When we get back from Florida. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Clay's House of Chills. We got our living room here. I love the, yeah, the counters and the pillars and stuff. Check this out. What a weird guy. Wait, what's here? I can barely see. It's like super dark on my screen. Oh, the grandfather clock. I'm telling you, the sloppy set is so good. Got the bed here. What a weirdo. Imagine the insides like the meringue one. Bunch of boxes. We can go upstairs too. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I see what you did. Oh, this is... So this is supposed to be the street. I got you. 
This is supposed to be the street. Okay, so picture I'm walking down the street. And then his house is underground. Okay. All right, so now let's go underground. Here's the full illusion. And then, so this is underground. Interesting. Oh, that makes a lot more sense because there's like vines and stuff. I've never, you know what? I haven't seen a lot of like people bringing the outdoors in before. That's so cool. I love it. Yeah, uh, when are we going Friday? We're going to uh, Miami for like a few days. <clears throat> I got my dad uh, Dolphins tickets. Dolphins Patriots tickets for Christmas. So. Just a few days. Nothing crazy. Uh, I want to check this one out. The Bones, a narrow, cozy getaway. Let's check this out. Well, the, the tickets are for Sunday, but we're just going to be kind of hanging out there. Look at Bones' yard here. So this one is is from the the feed. This isn't anyone's in the chat. Well, maybe. It could be. It's kind of like, you know, I've always wanted to get my dad something really nice. And, you know, I had the opportunity to. I didn't really go crazy for Christmas, but I did, you know, get these tickets for him. Evie, how's it going? Oh, look at this. I kind of like... This is cozy. This is like a... This is like a New York City apartment. This is cozy. Look at this. I love this. I think less is more. Sometimes less is more. I mean, it's, it's cool to go like all out, but this is great. And the windows... Look at the windows. Those are the stickers. Those have to be custom design like stickers. I got to start doing those for sure. Micro build. I love it. And then upstairs. What could be upstairs? Oh, look, look how like from here. Look how great that the ruined arch goes with the wall. I mean, it's not like direct, but. I wasn't expecting this. I was not expecting this giant bathroom. The ruined arch and that brick go so well together. We got a window out there. Very cool. Bones is chilling. I'm obsessed with how cozy this is. Texas size bathroom, New York City. Oh man, micro builds. I got to try that out. Freaking love bones. Tiny home challenge. That could be cool. All right. Zell's hotel. Another toilet. Ranch life. That kind of looks cool. Showgirls. <laughs> these are cute i never really go on here a sewing getaway yeah i really gotta get away and start sewing more an antique cottage oh wait this one is this one is from one of you didn't we visit this one it's kind of cool that you guys show up there Nico's Sanctuary, a house for Nico. Let's see. Yeah, let's see where Nico's living. 
I haven't seen a Nico build or a Wardell build. All right, let's see how much Nico is getting paid over here. All right, so this is Nico's house. This is how Nico lives. I kind of want to make a Wardell house. How cute would that be? Like a micro house for Wardell? What is going on? How much do you get paid? What are you looking at? Oh. Oh yeah, what happens if you build a house for Wardell? Who like greets you? You don't even have a house, bro. You have a garden. You have a bath with trees. That's your house. All right, so maybe he's not getting paid good. Nico probably brings you. We got to test that out. All right, I got to see this ranch. This is dope. Love it already. Look at the lawnmower. Just a couple of cows. Farming. Having a good time. Look at these ladies. Well, one's working hard. The other one is, uh, you know. This is so cute. All right, let's go inside. Oh, so you, is this more of the outside that you brought in here? Yeah, because we have a tractor. We have the building sides, plant starters and everything. Oh, so this is still outside. All right, let's see what's up, what's upstairs. The cows are definitely cottagecore girlfriends. <laughs> Oh, man. The upstairs. Oh, check this out. These are cute rooms. Notice how no one makes a bathroom, though. Like, people will make the kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom, but no one makes a bathroom. No one makes bathrooms. Maybe there's just not enough room for bathrooms. I don't know. You know, it'd be a really cool challenge is to make like a studio. So like has to have a kitchen, bedroom, or kitchen, bathroom, main room. I guess it would, wouldn't be too hard. I know some of you make them, but they're not, they're not common. They're not too common. <clears throat> all right. Uh, all right, let's go back to some codes. I probably should be doing some building, but we'll go see a few more codes and then we'll call it. I got to get dinner. I would go out to eat with Carleen, but she abandoned me and went home, so. <laughs> All right, a couple more. Maybe two or three more. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, she just went she just went home to visit her parents and pack. All right, let's go. Another hour went by. Wow. 
All right, let's go to this one. Two seven six five zero uh zero two five two. <laughs> I was saying, Carlene, that you abandoned me, but you just went home to pack and whatever. Uh, okay. There's a lot of good ones here. Not going there. We have Ioni's mansion we have a thrift store okay guys pat how many kids do you have i have one he's a cat and he's not a kid well he's a baby but all right we're going to the thrift shop together we are going to the thrift shop together so get that thrift mindset let me know what you're buying uh nicole said she doesn't know how to read nicole Sorry about that. All right, we're going thrifting. This is a cool idea for a for a shop build. You know what? This looks like the thrift thrift stores. A lot of clothes in the middle and stuff. Is there a fan somewhere? Why are those clothes moving? Was someone touching them? I don't know. Oh, this is great. This is great. There's like some weird, like a, a helmet there or like a mask there. We got like a, oh, this is kind of tempting to do. I was going to do like a Vans or whatever, but look at all these clothes. See, this isn't the thrift shops that I like. I like like savers that have like movies, games, weird toys and stuff. I mean, I guess this does have a little section over here. But this is too many clothes for my taste, you know? This really does look like a thrift, though. This is great. Plato's Closet Vibes. Yes. Yep. I went to my first Plato's Closet with Carlene. I didn't know what it was. And she brought a bag of clothes there and they were a little rude. I got to be honest. They were like, yeah, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll let you know. So we walked around, pretended to look at things for 20 minutes and they gave her like 50 bucks. It was cool. Or Carlene, you have, uh, what's that thing that you have where you, you, you sell your clothes? I forgot what it is. I don't know. Guys like wear clothes. Depop, Depop. There we go. Carlene's Depop. <clears throat> All right, let's go to this one. And before we go over more Animal Crossing secrets, I'd like to thank our sponsor today, Depop. Depop is an amazing thing where you can sell your clothes to people have stains on them that's fine depop will clean them no they don't do anything they're just an app but sign up do it up anyway kyle let's get some love for the mods let's do it it's important to research your sponsors beforehand uh we're going thrifting again guys i'm in the thrifting mood so let's go it's called secondhand treasures uh, but anyway, thank you so much for that gamer subs. 
<laughs> a little sponsor thing right there. Oh, check this out. Mow your freaking lawn. All right. This is a thrift shop. Let me know what you're buying. All right. This is, I would say, more of my thrift shop because there are clothes, but there there is a lot of junk. And I like junk when I go out. Okay. So let me know in the comments what you're buying. All right. I mean, the clothes, let's start with the clothes. There's, they're not bad. A lot of cool hats. We got a Nintendoc hat up there. Uh, the chairs. The chair situation is kind of interesting. Special offer. I love that little sign. The chairs. Hmm. Uh really see a ton going on with the chairs queen with the two just ate mcdonald's and feel sick happy new year that's usually how it goes we got some plushies here now listen are you buying plushies at a thrift store though they're cute to look at got a crtv got a map first aid kit some tools a globe i might look at the books Maybe there's some movies on there or something. Anyone going to take this sock? I got dibs on the sock. Anyone's going to take this sock? Cool. Oh, yeah. Carlene and I were at the thrift store and we like go over. We like have our sections that we go to. And then we went over to like the left and this guy was behind us and he had a giant Crash Bandicoot like plush. And Carlene likes Crash Bandicoot. That was funny. Well, not for her. I uh, yeah, I don't really know what I'm oh, there's skateboards, there's a bike up there. I don't really know what I'm getting. I might look at the books and stuff. Or I might just walk out. Oh, there's an upstairs! Wait, hold the phone. Hold the phone, there's an upstairs. Is this your house? This is your house. I'm still going to look around and I might buy some of your stuff. Uh, all right. What can we buy from the shop owner? <laughs> Here's where the good things are. Finally. Nice place you got here. Love it. Cool stuff. With the tag on it. It was brand new. All right, let's go to a couple more. I'm going to have, uh, I think I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but I'm going to have my first uh, Vegas video coming out soon. I might like reveal what villagers we're going to do. Yeah, I, I have an idea for that, that video, but that's probably going to come out soon-ish. I am still doing the maze. Yep. 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 Okay. Here we go. Uh, this is more, well, I want to see it, but this is kind of a science experiment. I hope it's here. Wait, you said you had a Wardell house. You little jokester. I thought you said you had a Wardell house. All right, Ann. 
Talk to me. Talk to me, talk to me. That looks cool. Did you forget to add it? Were you clickbaiting me? I know, I wish we could search by villager. That would be so cool. All right, I'm going to look at this. The hospital looks cool. I'm going to look at this. You just updated it? I want to see this. Punchy, how's it going? An adventurer's home. This is Timmy and Tommy's home. Okay. That'd be really cool to search by villager. Just random houses. Ooh, look at this. There's... There's glowing balloons? How many glow... How many glowing furniture don't I have? This furniture set keeps going on and on. Has anyone ever seen this? I've never seen those. And they, they're, they like sparkle. Those are so cool. Play the game. I feel like I play the game a lot and I never see this stuff. What is going on here? I don't know what I would use them for. All right, here we go. Timmy and Tommy's little crib. Still rocking twins, eh? How much do they get paid? Like, what? what's going on here? Guys, you can do full size. Timmy and Tommy. Timmy and Tommy's apartment. This is so cute. I love this one. I don't know what downstairs is about. You need to go on more cap and tours. I, I gotta say, I love Cap'n. I love the song that he sings. I love both songs that he sings. I love the idea of it that, you know, you can randomly find out of season islands or whatever. I think that they messed up with Cap'n. I think they messed it up. There's just no incentive for me to go there. There's no incentive for me to go there. I'm sorry. Someone had to say it. Well, the song there and the song back. You get most of the glowing moss recipes. Okay. Can you, can you still get those on the Happy Home or is that just the Vine ones? good for resources gyroids and diys but i find so many gyroids on my island that it's not even worth using miles to go there like at first it was cool to like get the crops and stuff i don't know i don't know like longevity Cap'n does nothing for me i guess it's cool to like maybe go on a couple random ones but i don't know could be cool for resources i mean it's hard for me to 100 percent. i get a lot of items given to me i'm not going to deny that but i think even if i did maybe i'd go there more i don't know i guess it is cheaper than going to the mystery islands just kind of seems like a wasted opportunity i think it's not me complaining it's just me being like why 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 go there you know did I put that in wrong? Eight six five two nine three nine five one eight four zero. Sydney, your code was wrong.
Yeah, that, okay. Lance, I, I really like that idea. That would have been a great way to bring back tropical fruits for sure. Yeah, because that could have been an exclusive spot for the, you know, whatever. And for the, the, the new fruits. And then I kind of think it that should have been exclusive for the gyroid fragments too. And maybe even gyroids. I don't know. Cookie, cookie. All right, let's do it. Why not, right? We're to the end of the stream. All the rules are out of the window. Let's do it. This is the first bribe I've ever accepted, by the way. This is the first bribe I've ever done. Okay. First bribe ever. Here we go. I mean, th this is a good one, though. A bear bungalow. We got a tiny publishing house. Oh, we got to go there. All right. Tiny publishing house. Let's go. Well, here's... The Should I do donations? Because then it would exclude some people. And I feel like I would just get, like... $2 donations, $4, and then I have to go to all of them. That's why I want to limit them. This is really dope, by the way. <laughs> Brittany, now with the red flags. Look how happy she is here, though. Like, are you guys really mad at this? Are you mad at this? Right, snap out of it. Why are all the villagers acting dumb to me? For everyone else, they're like geniuses. I mean, bribes are fun. Listen, your boy needs skillet queso somehow. But yeah, I can't, I can't do them all the time. Cause it'd be a, it'd be a paid, paid show, you know? All right, we'll do one more. All right, I kind of want to... If Anne... If Anne updated her code, I want to see a Wardell house. So I'm looking for Anne's code here. No, Laura, that was fine. All right, what's Anne's code? Do harsh island reviews with donation requests only. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's visit this one. Uh, six zero eight two nine six nine eight. Check it out. All right. Okay, so we're gonna go to Wardell's house. So do you guys think that Nico is going to be the one that brings us? I'm really curious about this. Oh, okay. So Nico is here. That's cute. We got Wardell's winter house. Can I even get in here? Yes, I can. told you how did you know carlene you were just you were just you know shooting in the dark there i really want to build wardell a house now look at how cozy he is got his little bread oh my god look at him in this chair that chair is holding on for dear life and he's eating his chowder okay let's go upstairs This is a vibe, though. We got a Wardell picture. Nothing wrong with self-love. We love that. 
Okay. Look at him looking outside, dreaming of a better job. He's waiting for Santa. Look at him looking outside. How do you like Nico better? What is wrong with you? I really like the brick with the furnace there. Good stuff. All right. Okay, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I, I'm i excited that I'm, like, you know, going through Happy Home. I feel like I only have a few... I feel like I only have a few left. I feel like I have a few islands left, and then we're good. And then we can go back, redo our restaurants, redo our cafes, things like that. Um, okay. We need some hearts in the chat. Please and thank you. Go follow me. Uh, go follow the second channel. Thank you. Follow the TikTok. There'll probably be some highlights of this one on there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's always a blast hanging out with you guys. So we're going to be doing more happy home until I finish it, but then we can still play it because we can do happy home tours. We can redesign ones that are kind of stinkers. Um, what's today? We might stream again tomorrow. I'm not sure. Either a stream or a video tomorrow. I feel like I have to end the stream with like a mic drop though, or like a, like a shocking type thing. It's not gonna be that bad. Uh, but thank you so much for coming out. Uh, Dez, thank you so much. Nicole, all the mods. Thank you a bunch. Laura. It's always nice to see you, Samantha. Thank you. Thank you, Brittany. And thank you for that experiment. We saw Wardell and Nico's thing. I'm not pregnant. Why am I always pregnant? Anyway, Natty, nice to see you. Lacey. All right, y'all. Okay, so here's the announcement, all right? And I'm going to reveal, reveal this in another video. Um, Horrorland is the island that's getting tore down. Bye.